dis oefendag. En dit betekent vroeger die vere vir Suid-Afrika se voorste renjaars. One of the first out of the race is Basil van Royen, leader in the 1969 Racing Drivers' Championship. Suddenly drama struck when at 160 miles an hour he had a flat tyre. Skidding wildly, the McLaren hit a bank, throwing Van Royen across the track. The force of the crash broke the car into several pieces, scattered over a wide area. The badly injured Van Royen is taken to hospital. The great day is finally here. En daar is maar baie min tyd oor om die laaste probleempjes uit die weg te ruim voor die wedren van 40 rondes begin. Well, John McNichol, this is the third time you've had this car out on the circuit. What do you think your chances are going to be this afternoon? Well, I hope to perform the usual, my usual position coming third, but I'd like a second if this is possible, but I very much doubt it. Uh, there are a lot of other fast cars in the race, and it looks as though most of the drivers have got their cars well prepared this time. So the best we can hope for is second, but I think we will come about third or fourth. Well, John, three minutes to the off. How do you feel about driving in this race without your aerofoil? Oh, I think it'll be all right, Len. There's uh, not too much to worry about. The car slides a lot more than it normally does um, with aerofoil, but uh, something we've now got to get used to, so we'll just get on with it and carry on. Very good. Best of luck. into Crowthorne is number one, John Love and his Lotus. Love still in front through Yuxke and Barbecue, around Sunset and into Clubhouse, the Esses, Leukop and into the straight. John Love skips fair for the honour. After losing 40 seconds of the start, John McNichol, number four, shows the form which has made him one of our most promising young drivers. Number eight, Jackie Pretorius is second with number seven, Dave Charlton, third. But now for the first course, from with every round. Paddy Driver, number six, and Bobby Altoff, number five, dice for fourth place. Dave Charlton pushes Pretorius hard, but the pace proves too hot, and lack of oil pressure puts him out. Altoff gets ahead of Driver to move into fourth place but Driver is still only seconds behind him. Number two, Sam Tingle moves into third place. After 30 laps, John Love is 20 seconds ahead of Pretorius, but bad luck dogs him when a wheel nut comes off the clubhouse. Pretorius trekt alle voordelen uit Love's het Love's het in spoed. Love replaced self the moor and Pretorius with rondes of a constant 106 miles per hour takes the car. Love takes in to let his wheel now completely fast drive. Number three, now nine minutes behind, John Love drives his hardest to catch up. Further ahead, Altoff and Driver continue their private duel.
Sam Tingle drives steadily to lie second. Jackie Pretorius is now fair poor. In a well job love alles out all that I can, is daar te min tijd oor om die tijdverlies van drie rondes in te haal. En hy eindig achter. Jackie Pretorius wins the 102 mile Republic Trophy race with Sam Tingle second and John McNichol third. And for the winner, a beer baptism from John Love.